Hi, I'm Dan Rosenstark with MIDI Designer and I'm going to be showing you how pedal boards work in MIDI Designer. We're going to be using a Roland FC200 and uh, we're going to use it to control multiple pages in MIDI Designer. The FC200 is connected to MIDI Designer uh, via a MIDI Mobilizer 2 and uh, then MIDI Designer is connected onward to Ableton Live. So. What we want to check first and foremost is that the pedal board is actually connected. So when I press something on the pedal board, it should light up an LED in MIDI Designer. And it does do that, so we've passed the first part of the... Um, so we are ready to go onwards. We've got two pages in MIDI Designer, uh, a Vogue page and a Weird page. And in Ableton Live, we're playing a synth. So the synth sounds like this. That's pretty strange sounding. And the vocoder on it sounds like this. And the weird on it sounds like this. Basically, I have to expose the pedal board pages. The way to do that is I can use two fingers in performance mode, and that lifts up the page to expose the pedal board, or I can use one finger in design mode. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna enter into design mode and use one finger. Now I'm going to put a button that corresponds to number five on the external pedal board. So add a button, I'm gonna add a square button, it's actually called button 5, we'll just call it 5. This is a toggle button exactly as it is by default. The only interesting thing that I have to do here is twofold. First, I have to make it learn from the external pedal board. So I'm going to hit learn, and you can see that when I hit the number the 5 on the external pedal board, it bounces and it comes in with 1069 as the channel on CC. Good, so that's done. And then the next part is to make it a super control so that it can control Voke on the first page and the on off on the second page. So change it to super control. Now go to its sub controls. Okay, I'm going to lock the panel in place so I can work with this. First sub control is Voke. Okay, so that's here. And now on the second page, go back to five here and on is also under its control. And now we're gonna see the interesting thing about what's happening in MIDI Designer is as we move between pages, so I go to the first page and I turn Voke on, that doesn't mean it's on on the second page. On the second page it's off, okay? So they're completely independent and this is what allows me to control different buttons with the same hardware. Now, another interesting feature here is that I'm using a momentary button on the external hardware. So this 5 isn't actually a toggle. It's momentary. But MIDI Designer knows, because it's a super control on a pedal board, it knows to interpret it as a toggle. Let's see how that works uh, with the uh, Ableton sound. Now we're going to wire everything else up. We are going to add a knob that's the same thing. Actually, let's make it a slider. Add a slider here, and this is going to be called exp, EXP for the expression pedal on uh, the FC200. It's got to learn from the external MIDI, so I'm going to move this, and it should bounce. Okay, great, it's 10.7, that's great. And it's advanced, it's a super control. So now I want it to control as sub controls format on the first page 
and on the weird page I want it to control tune. So that's all good and now I exit design mode and you can see that at the top for instance I'm going to bring it to the top uh, on the second page and on the first page bring it to the bottom and now you can see as I switch between pages it's stuck with its last value which is what we want so if we were using two-way external hardware which is a very interesting way to go we would actually see the value update on the external hardware so it's a pretty interesting option now we're going to add one more thing to make this all more interesting I'm going to take the four button here and I'm going to map it to a page up so and I'm going to leave it on the pedal board so I'm going to do another button here this is just going to be a regular button this is called page up um, and I'm going to make it learn this for so it learned that and now I'm going to change its type not it's not a toggle it's now page up exit design mode and now when I hit the four you can see that I'm switching pages so now I've basically got my entire rig under MIDI control which is what I was going for and including with the expression pedal so now um, I would say I'm going to make some music, actually I'm just going to make some noise, but it will be clear what the controls are, which is the point. So I'm going to start the sample moving in Ableton Live, and I'm just going to control this. Well, that was a quick video showing how to use pedal boards like the Roland FC200 with MIDI Designer to control multiple pages. So basically we can move through pages, we can um, turn controls on and off on multiple pages using the same hardware and uh, same thing with um, knobs. And of course this is flexible, uh, we can use different external hardware, we could use um, we could use anything from a Korg Nano uh, to an actual pedal board like this one. We could use uh, DCR 2000. That's also an interesting option because it's a two-way MIDI option. And MIDI Designer gives us some additional help with that, which we'll go over in a different video. I um, hope you saw what you were looking for. I hope that the concepts were clear. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to get in touch. Uh, we're at support at mididesigner.com. Thanks a lot, and thanks for checking out MIDI Designer.